Shalom Mespuka. You see here on the screen, you see the picture of, it has Africa, but we know this as the land of Ham. Uh, we know the name Africa came from European and they changed the name, but according to scripture, it's the land of Ham. And the Most High wants us to remember his miracles in Egypt and in the land of Ham. We, we've been told throughout the scriptures, throughout Torah, to remember, to remember, remember how I brought you out of Egypt. Remember, the reason he told us to remember is because we would forget. We are known to forget things. We are forgetful. When we dibble and dabble into things we have no business being in, this is when we forget. And when we start doing the things that GUI is doing, this throws us off track. And then we end up getting scattered throughout all the earth, not knowing who we are. Okay, Psalm 77, 14 and 15. And we understand this. You are the mighty one who does wonders. You know, you ask anyone, they will tell you, yes, he does wonders. But you ask them, name me some of the wonders he's done in scripture. And watch the puzzling look on their faces because we don't remember the things he's done. He says, you have declared your strength among your people and you have with your arm redeemed your people, the sons of Yaakov and Yahoo self. In the religions, most of all the re religions, especially Christianity, they use the Bible, but they don't consider, they don't even consider the sons of Yaakov and Yahoo self. It's not an issue to them. Exodus 14, 29 through 31. But the children of Yasharal had walked on dry land in the midst of the sea. Here are some of the wonders. Here they go, walking on dry land in the midst of the sea. And the waters were a wall to them on their right hand and on the left side. The water was a wall. And we know this will happen again. Scripture tells us he's going to part the sea again. So... Yahuwah save Yasharal that day out of the hand of the Egyptian. He wanted us to remember how he saved us out of the hands of Egyptians. And Yasharal saw, watch this, Yasharal saw the Egyptians' dead bodies on the seashore. They saw this with their eyes. Amazing. We experience it. We experience his power. We see his power. And we forget. Now, I'm going to bring this thing home. I'm going to bring it home to where we at. How we see what he does and then forget is beyond me. But they did it. And today, right now, we are doing the exact same thing. Just as Ecclesiastes says, nothing new under the sun. Thus, Yashara saw the great work. They saw it. They saw the great work which Yahuwah had done in Egypt. So the people feared Yahuwah, all right? When they saw it, they feared him and believed Yahuwah and his servant Moshe. They knew the signs was confirmed through Moshe and they knew it and they believed. Deuteronomy 5 and 15. And remember, you see, he's telling us, remember, remember that you were a slave in the land of Egypt, we've been told to remember. In Exodus 6, we see he's telling the people, teach your children and your children, children, how we were slaves in Egypt. Now, the scripture is telling us to remember how we were slaves. But today, and especially in America, they don't want to talk about this. They don't want to talk about how Americans, how they enslaved people. How they went to the land of Ham and enslaved people. They don't want to discuss that. We can discuss the Holocaust all day. But how he enslaved our people, oh, that's been a long time ago. Uh, let's, let's forget about that. No, no. The scriptures say, remember. You see, even the Christians carrying the Bibles to churches. They carrying the Bibles, they're going to churches, and they never want to talk about, remember that you were slaves in Egypt. They wanted us to forget. This is what they wanted us to forget. And they wanted to remember Paul's scripture. 
Slaves, obey your masters. These are what they quote. You see how Paul, you see how the enemy used Paul against the righteous people? Unbelievable. So we're being told to remember. He knew we would forget. He knew we would be cut off from our heritage, cut off from our land, cut off from our identity. And when we, he awaken us, we're finding out the scripture has been telling us to remember. Remember, you were slaves in Egypt and Yahuwah, your mighty one brought you out from there by a mighty hand and by an outstretched arm. Therefore, Yahuwah, your Elohim commanded you to keep the Shabbat. We, he knew that we would be on Sunday time, Sunday worship. He knew it. And we would defile and profane the Kadash Shabbat. He knew it. He knew we would forget the Shabbats. We're being told to remember. Remember? Remember this word. That's why they had to drill in us in Christianity that the law was done away with. They didn't want us digging into the law. So we stayed in Paul's letters. Deuteronomy 9 and 7. Remember. Over and over. We're being told remember. Because we will forget. We're forgetful. We are very forgetful. Not only we stiff-necked it, we're forgetful. And amazing how we forget the things he told us to remember. We forget the, the miracles he's done in our lives. We shouldn't forget. I can't forget the fact when my daughter was born, she was born too soon. On life support. Fitting in the palm of my hands. As small as small can be. Remember. How I delivered her. Remember how I saved her. We have to remember these things and recall these things. This helps us in our walk. And it keeps us in line. And it keeps us in the way we should go in. Because if not, we're going to forget the way that we should go in. And we will go another way. That's why many people are going many different ways. And we're being directed over here. Some being directed over there. We're being directed in all areas in the Most High saying, follow me. Remember, do not forget how you provoke Yahuwah, your Elohim, to wrath in the wilderness. We, the, when we do things we shouldn't do, we provoke him to wrath in the wilderness, in the lands of our captivity, wherever you are. The Most High tell you to do one thing and you do another. You see, you provoking him to wrath. Then you're lying on him, telling the people, the Most High told me to do this. The Most High told me to do that. And that was the devil speaking to you. From the day that you departed from the land of Egypt until you came to this place, you have been rebellious against Yahuwah. From the time he scattered us in all these lands, from the time we realize we're Yashara, he awakened us, we are still rebellious. We're full of rebellion. Rebellion is written all over our face. It's on the inside of us. And we constantly, continually rebel against the Most High. We rebel against his word. You're going to begin to understand why only a remnant shall make it. Deuteronomy 15, 15, you shall remember that you were a slave in the land of Egypt. You tell this, you take this message, you take this one message to the Christian churches and you get thrown out the churches because they don't want to remember about slavery, slaves and slavery, chains, people chained, shackled, naked, people being thrown off ships, uh, you know, that's why my, my son and I, when he read that book and he went over the Roots book with me, I said, son, I asked him about doing that video. He was like, sure. He was excited to the point, you know, he began to working and he, he did uh, everything that he did. The video that you saw him doing the drawing, he did all of that to put it in the video of a man breaking his chains. That chain was the chain of slavery. And so, yes. We should remember that that was for you to remember how we were slain. We see, we keeping the remembrance before the people, because if not, we will forget. 
When we go in the scriptures, I'm talking us as a family, my family. When we go in the scriptures and we see certain things, we see our reminders. And then we reflect. We reflect. We remember. Although we've been here before in the scriptures, here we go again. And let's remember. Let's recall the things that he's done for us. So it's, you shall remember. He said, you shall remember that you were a slave in the land of Egypt and Yahuwah redeemed you. Therefore, I command you this thing today that we are to remember. But he know we are a stiff necked people. We're hard headed. We don't like being told. We don't like directions. We don't like instructions. We don't like light, which is Torah. We love the gray areas in the darkness and we love doing our own thing. This is one of the, our biggest problems. We love doing our own thing. That's why we have so many camps. They are doing their own thing. And if you're not with their camp, you're not with, listen, you're not with them. Meaning they're not going to help you in anything. They'll take your money, send them a donation. They will take your money, but they won't even help you with advice. So this is Baruch. 2 and 30 for I know that they will not obey me he knew it why we won't obey him I know they won't obey me they're gonna create camps they're gonna create their own rules outside of scripture these camps have rules outside of scripture making their people give ties listen I'm, when I say they, they're taking ties as if they're Louis and then the ties they're telling the people it's money that's the same thing we did in Christianity for they are a stiff-necked people. And you can't tell these leaders in these camps nothing. And their followers, they're docile. They're just led by their leader. When you bring them truth, they will look at you like you're off. Because my leader told me, if you don't have a leader in your life, then you on your own. The most high ain't dealing with you. You're off. Every, remember the camp's mentality. And the members have that same mentality. Everybody not in this group, in this camp, they are off. Everybody. That's what they teach. That's what they believe. But that's not what the scripture says. And that's not how the Most High operates. He's not operating within one camp. This, the, what the Most High is doing is larger than all the camps. You take all the camps, put them in a bucket. And what the Most High is doing, now you have people and you have his remnant outside of the camp. And he's working with them along with his hosts. Yes, his hosts, his malachs, mostly within the borders. But in the land of their exile, they will come to themselves. He understood. We, we know in the land of our exile, in the land of our captivity. That we would finally come to ourselves. Okay, Dead Sea Scrolls 4Q185. Here is the word. He says, Now pray to me. Here we go, talking to the stiff necked people. Pray to me, my people. Heed me. He's saying, Pray to me, heed me. Oh, you simple, become wise through the might of Yahuwah. How do we come become wise through the might of Yahuwah? Number one, we do, we pray to him, we heed him, we fast, we meditate on his word, we study, and most important, we do what he command. Because when he said, you pray to me, and you do these other things, you heed me. One of the things we have to heed, come out of her, my people. This is an area of rebellion and stiff neckedness of our people. And they make up excuses. He's not saying this, and he's not saying that. So he's telling us to be, what he call us simple. Think about it. We are waking from Christianity. Yeah, we were simple. And he said, become wise. So many of us coming out of Christianity, we became wiser. We became wise. It was a wise thing to come out of Christianity. We stopped believing the Torah is done away with. We start keeping Shabbat. We start doing all these things. And through the Torah, he opened up our eyes and we became wise. Once simple, now wise. So he says, become wise. Remember the miracles which he did in Egypt. We're being reminded to remember. 
This he told us for a reason, to remember.